<laughs> We're on. Yes, we are. All right, fellas. Hibiki, I believe is the right pronunciation. Some other people call it Hibiki. I believe it's Hibiki. This is a Japanese blended whiskey. It is from the uh, distillery of Santori. These people have been aging whiskey for a while now. This one sits at 43% alcohol by volume, 750 ml, and the... Um, uh, the distillery of Suntory was established back in 1899. I really don't know much about it. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these. They're tough to get uh, ever since I started with the uh, Yamasaki 18 and 12 year old, uh, which they come from the same distillery. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these. So this is a blend, a blended whiskey. So I don't know how many whiskeys are in there. I don't know if it contains both barley and grain whiskeys. But based on the color that I see here, apparently there's some uh, whiskey that the, the apparently was aging uh, not only bourbon barrel but uh, sherry also. So um, tough to get, tough to get. Uh, I think it was like 55 or 65 bucks. I don't know how much I paid. I just got it probably a couple hours ago. So I don't know if you have anything to add. <clears throat> I don't know anything about it except that you call me. And we're here, and we're going to do this. <laughs> There's no better way of doing it. The unknown, you know? So, let's give it a shot. You want to open this thing? Look at this cord. Show the cord. There's a 17-year-old also that um, it's extremely darker than this one in comparison. Uh, that one goes for about 150 bucks, I think. But, man, the only way to get it is to call the, uh, to get it from the whiskey exchange or something. Look at that cork. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nicely crafted cork. Presentation is nice on the bottom. It is. Wow. I like the nose, I tell very, you that. Very nice. Wow, liquor. Yeah. It's imported no. uh, to a distributor in New York. I know why you're putting it here because you want me to handle this. Just don't worry about it. There's no mosquitoes here. Wow, I can see the viscosity. Stick. Creamy, very light in color. Very light. Wow. Look at this, guys. Look at this, fellas. Very oily, though. Very, very nice presentation. Oh yeah, very frugal. fruity. Oh yeah. What would you say the color is like? It's a really light, light amber. amber. Yeah. Really light amber. Wow. It's warm. Almost like uh warm like a on cheap the nose. motor oil. Holy cow. Look at this. It's got some legs. Legs, are you kidding me? It's like a marathon. Look at this. Yeah, it's pretty oily. Wow. Is this you know if it's uh chill filtered or uh I I I'm not sure. I don't know much about it. Like I said. Uh, Maybe we'll get some feedback from some of the viewers. Yeah. They may know some, but what do you guys um, think? I, I sent the picture over to my good friend in Sweden, Bartolome, and uh, he hasn't responded yet. It's, Bartolome is paving the way, but uh, one of the things that we got coming up in uh, today's reviews is uh, a, nice high, a Highland Park uh, no age statement bottle that came through. Mature and Sherry. Yes, sir. We're going to present that. So, I, I rely, most of my information um, comes from him. And there's a six-hour difference between here, Miami, Florida, and Sweden. And it's probably past midnight over there. Wow. So, uh, I don't expect them to answer anytime soon. So, I'm going to rely on you guys to help us out. Yeah, this is actually pretty uh, fruity. Wow, it is. The moment it hits your mouth, it's really smooth when it touches the tongue. But as it goes back and progresses towards the palate, it's got a nice kick of the alcohol. Um, Product called Japan, and there's a uh, 43% volume by uh, volume of alcohol in it. Whew. It is. <clears throat> it's punchy though. Really oily. Mm-hmm. I 
don't know. Are you impressed with this? Not really. Not as good. It's not my cup of tea. It's um, a little bit too spicy for my liking. It is punchy though. Yeah, my tongue is on fire. I'm trying to see what it resembles. I'm trying to see exactly what I've had in the past. That's it's giving me a reminder of Aberfeldy. <laughs> I was just going to say that. It does. And I don't know. We were pretty brutal on the Aberfeldy 12 and we've gotten some people uh, to try to get us to reconsider and probably do a, a second review like uh, to consolidate the notes. But I don't know if we have ever done a, uh, a uh, revised review. Ever. But that bottle's gone. Yeah, well, I'm not buying another one. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually considering uh, a 20, uh, a 21. But um, it's rather pricey. I just, I picked it up. I saw it in the Bahamas for 109 bucks, duty free. And then when I just got this, I saw it for 159 And it changed my mind. I... I mean, 109 was like really pushing the envelope. 159 is a definitely no-no. Uh, this was about, I think I said this earlier, probably about 60 something bucks, 63, 64, or 57. I, I mean, don't remember. The presentation, can, I can, I can see how it can attract you to probably grab it and bring it to the counter. Maybe this is awesome on the rocks. Perhaps. Yeah, it might be. It is a blend. Mm -hmm. So. You know, matter of, what are we waiting for? Let me just go get a little bit of ice. Get a little bit of water or something. No, just cross the ice. So I'm telling you right now, if I was to judge this, one through ten, I'd probably give it a four. The nose is good. The nose is really good. It's florally. It's fruity. It's got this warm warmth to it. It smells really fresh too. I mean it's not a bad thing though. It's not a bad deal. Let's try let's try let's try it on the rocks. Why not? You want me to put a little more there or is that sure, enough? why not? We're gonna do it, let's do this shit right. Why not? Give me enough just like this little shit to give you in the airplane. <laughs> do you got somewhere to be? <laughs> Yeah, just pour a little more of it. No more? I, I have a feeling I'm not going to drink this anymore. After this. <laughs> I am infatuated with this. I mean, look at this. Wow. I don't, I don't want it to get all diluted or anything. Oh, it smells like grass. Actually, it is pretty good with ice, bro. Is it? Yeah. So does road label. <laughs> <clears throat> it is pretty good with the ice. I like it. It completely toned down the spice that it was kicking off. Yeah. <clears throat> You want to pull another video with a very little light that we got? We got another 15, 20 minutes. Or you well, wanna, all I got to say is, um, with Chinese food. I don't think I will buy this bottle. No, um, I, I honestly don't recommend. I wouldn't buy another one. And for the price, bro, I could go grab me two Levitts or a Levitt and a Michael Collins, and no, I will get a better tasting note for my likings than this. Yeah, because it all depends what you like, you know. So many people will say, "Are you kidding me, Glenn Levitt?" I mean, who hasn't had that? I don't let's, think let's go Japanese, you know. But in my opinion, I would I would probably do the same. I don't think it's a matter of getting my hands on it um, because I've had it so many times. I think it's a matter of the yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, I will enjoy it better. And uh, <clears throat> but that's about it for me, man. Hibiki, um, I will play it on a plain level, not up, no down. Neutral. Yeah, neutral. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of other good things out there. 
much better for the price and the taste for me. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And I'm glad we did it together because I was afraid that if I would do it alone and I would disqualify it, then it will be just my judgment here, you know? So at least we're, we're, we're agreeing on this. All right, well, for the South Florida Pete lovers, Hibiki 12, last time you see it, 